Hi guys, welcome to another round of Grand Arena. We've just jumped in and I think my opponent is attacking me at the moment. Have a look. So, yeah, it's gone through the Ewoks and the droids. Oh, yep, yeah, it's gone through Kylo Ren. He's attacking me at the moment. Okay, maybe we'll um, see what happens here. So let's have a look at his defense. We've got typical Old Republic geos, although his geos aren't massively hard. He's got both the Zetas, but I, I don't think they're that quick. No, they're not that quick, so I'll probably end up putting Empire into um, them. I'm just going to check all the speeds because last time. I did not check all the speeds and one of them got a turn and basically nuked Bastila. No, they're not that quick. I don't think we need to... Um... Right, okay, yeah. Em my Empire should easily take those. Not a problem there. I've got multiple teams that I can play into this, although I'll probably end up playing the Bounty Hunters as they're kind of like... They're kind of the most reliable, they just stand there and tank all the damage. And then down here we've got the uh, oh so wonderful Malak, which is starting to become quite typical of my opponents. I think the smarter players at least, or the players that are a little bit more tactically aware, if they're looking at my roster they're literally going, his only team that can beat Malak is Padme, and if he puts that on defense he can't clear this zone. And that is a completely viable way of playing, but if you've watched my video, you know full well that I'm not going to do that. But that's the choices that my opponents are making at the moment. So I could do with another squad that could deal with that, just as I could do with another squad that can deal with some of the other things. Uh, his Padme team up here is... Mm, it's got the Zetas, but it's not massively hard. Obviously, we've got Relic on GK. But Anakin's not even seven stars from that. As a damage dealer, that massively... Um, that massively limits his um, his damage output because he really needs, you know, those seven stars. So I'm actually thinking, um, hang on, let's check his potency again. Uh, so he's got less than 50% potency, which is really good because that means I can actually think about playing Nest in here. Let's check what C3PO's got. He's missing a mod. Uh, 37, 68, right, so... Currently, my Hermit Yoda is quicker than these guys, so I could play Nest with um, Kira and Hermit Yoda, and she should be hard enough to overwhelm this team. It takes a while, you just basically put it on auto basic and target Padme, and then just leave it. Okay, oh, yeah, we tried the Night Sisters yet, and he has not. Gone through both of them in one. Okay, I get the feeling that if I don't go through his Darth Revan in one, I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, he's on the ships. Alright, okay. Um, I guess Darth Revan is really the match that matters. So we should really do that first. goes right I've got 18 stacks on Padme I wonder if I can kill him not quite Love some of those. Bastard. Go on then. Will it kill him? Yes. Right. Oh, this is looking good, guys. Just need to get rid of HK before he uh, nukes somebody. That's done, yep. Beautiful. 
That's really good, that's what we needed. He's gone through our ships. Gone through a one. Started on the Night Sisters yet. He has, right. Okay, so this is the decider. If he gets stuck on this team, I think this really will give us um, a good chance to win this. I mean, I, the fact that I've gone through Star Forever and one's really helped. I, I think I checked his speeds um, when I set defense, and his Darth Revan was like crazy slow. Most people's Darth Revan is just like absolutely ball bustingly quick. All right, I can't underdog Geos. Um, you're basically not allowed. The other hard team on here. Laid into the alpha, as you've seen numerous times. Right, that's it. It's game over for them. We're just going to try and stun our way through this so that he doesn't turn. get any turns. Just the old Vader. Not quite. I'm not going to be able to heal the TIE pilot. But I'll take 59. Battle's gone against us, and he's still fighting. Um, right, okay, I think we're going to drop Nest into this. Well, actually, I should wait. I should really wait, because I could use another team, but I think Nest is the best one. Um, the other teams I've got tend to use a bit of um, like out-of-activation assists and things. So, like, a Bounty Hunter's boss ends up calling a lot in. Gengar likes to call assists in. It, it generates too much protection. And then with um, all the dispels from things like Ahsoka and Anakin and that, you can't stick your debuffs. It's not great for um, the boss bounty hunters to play into. Even though you can ignore certain things, you just you just don't have the um, you, don't, you don't have the stamina for it really. Um, the AOEs from Anakin and um, the big hit from Ahsoka just you can tear through you if you're not careful. Oh, he's done it. Run through that in one. Well, he's done 1726. As we said, 1750 is the sort of sweet spot. So, yeah, that's um, it's not a bad score. Right, we're going to put in this. I've played this battle before, so hopefully this will work out for us. Ah, uh, yes, right. Master's training on to Nest. Six irresistible, there's nothing to do about it. Um, Why can't I click on that? Make no points. My, my tenacity should be high enough to avoid this. That's weird, I can't... Why can't I select somebody else? My data lets me ignore taunt. There we go.
Must have potency up or something. With master's training, my um, my tenacity is much higher than his. So, yeah, the hell's he getting that far? But you know, what what gives that potency up? These three, these four don't give that potency up. We sure see three players, doesn't? Okay, maybe I missed that. Okay, I have no idea why he's got bones here. <laughs> I'll have to check that later. I played this before um, against C3 Go and I beat it. Okay. I think Ahsoka's healing her too much with a um, special. Can't quite, um, what the hell? Yep, this was a mistake. The game's freezing. I'm, oh man, I don't know if this is coming up in the video, but the the, the screen's kind of um, like glitching and freezing, and it's costing me time. <laughs> It just glitched and froze then and cost me like, I don't know, four or five seconds. The timer went down, but the animations all paused. That's paused. Okay, well, at least she's dead. That is incredibly annoying. Right, well. Actually, I think we need to um, clear that Padme team. That, that is incredibly annoying having it do that. I think that did it sort of like three or four times. Um, not that that would have probably let me win the match. Oh yeah, what's the other one I have a look at? What's giving him potency up? I mean, I've seen that he gives extra potency. Oh my goodness, get some posts, yeah. Eh. Oh well. It is what it is. 
Right. Let's put in something else. Right, I'm probably going to put in CLS now because Padme is not going to be giving them uh, advantages. So let's go with this. And um, hopefully we can um, give some damage. Right. Kill Anakin, really. I lost 10 banners there because it took two attacks, but I don't know. Did I really lose 10 banners? I don't know if I'd beat that team. I wouldn't have been able to use um, CLS if that team was alive, definitely. All right, okay. Some weaker squads back here so we can afford to start underdogging. Got the Zeta on Kanan, which is, um, that's a substantial boost for Phoenix, but he's got no Zeta on Kylo Ren. Let's just have a quick look what we've got. I've got Geos, Bounty Hunters, and Nuke. They're my three main squads that I've got left. It's just whether I take out Django or... Okay, so I could probably drop Django from this squad, and this squad could probably still beat um, that First Order team. And that's fine, because that means I can use Django on his harder team. And that leaves me Geo's left to go into Phoenix. He's not got Sabine, who's got the AoE. So it's just a matter of dealing with, um, dealing with them. I think if I get rid of, if I get rid of Kanan, um, there's no counter attacks. Ezra's obviously the one dealing the damage. He's got a dispel as well. Chop's got a dispel. Okay, so that's not so bad. I think I'm gonna have to do that. I think I'm gonna have to underdog it definitely to catch up a bit. Over here, though, he's got all the data. I don't really think that it's worth underdogging with my bounty hunters. I think I just want to use um, full lineup and try and get this, um, and try and get the full sixty. I think if I underdog it, I mean, you're only potentially gaining one banner, but I don't know if I'll come out with um, like maximum protection and things. I do this first to try and uh, generate some contract. Boss because his next move. Bring everyone. God, you're almost dead. Now hey, you are dead. Down on Zalbar. I'm going to try and get rid of um, some of his damage dealers. Done. Let's go for this one. Him gone. 
probably gonna have to just work on Zambar. That's dropped his health down to um, crippling killing levels. He's gone. Gone here. Right, I'm going to get rid of Jahani first. She's got that annoying AoE. Talk to myself. I guess I'm not getting rid of her first. Right, 60, cool. So we could have only gained one extra banner, but that fight would have been um, quite a lot harder without having to Cad Bane there, because he's the usual one I drop, but having him be able to strip a taunt with his stun is quite useful. Okay, now look what he's put on his fleet. Um, that does not look like a good fleet. No, that, that looks like an awful fleet defense. His Phoenix aren't um, super hard. He's, he's got a decent ball effect. Slave one's okay, right? Okay, let's do this. Um, so, do we go for the fleet first and see how hard we have to underdog on the squads, or do we go on the squads and see how hard we have to underdog on the fleet? Because I'm thinking this will be enough to beat it. Both have to an underdog quite hard to make up for that up earlier, so let's do that. I always like to get rid of Slate 1 first if it's there. It just gets too much time to build up that um, the space mine attack, which if you if you leave that ship alone, that, that, that attack is um, really nasty. So 63, that's pretty good. But, but, well, it won't show me what the rest of his um, reinforcements were. Right, where are we? We're 1427, which, okay, so that, that's quite easy actually, with 300 points shy. We get 180 for beating the zone. So if we get two 60 point wins, that puts, that's 300 points, that makes me win by one point. So I need, I need to win. I need 60 point wins basically or better and we're back uh, apologies for that slight interruption right where was we we need 60 point wins and his mods are not great and we just need to look at where we can get the most banners so there's no AOE's up here but there is down here so it's a choice of where do we put the Geonosians and where do we put the Separatists. Now both teams can win in both areas so I'm thinking that I can put the um, Geonosians into the bottom lot and the Separatists into the top. Well I can do it the other way around, I don't think it matters. And I need to come out with 60 point wins and I probably need to underdog. I'm thinking that I put the Separatists into um, the bottom lot because I can put four characters in and they should be okay because of the healing from um, B1. If I put the Geos at the top again it's the same deal. I could do it the other way around but the healing on the um, B1 tends to be pretty good and the AoE should shred these guys. Where's my Separatist? Yep, so we've got no Django. We're gonna leave Django off because um, yeah, we, we don't need him, really. And hopefully we'll have enough to um, stop Kylo Ren from stunning us. Hopefully we'll get the extra banner, but if not, this is kind of that buffer.
the stun kind of ran. Given that. Right. If we can stun this card around, we did, and that's good. Okay, let's see if we can kill off Unmasked. We do. Let's go Plasma and heal Newt. Go for it again because of turn meter. Perfect, 61, what we wanted. And then we put the Geos in up here. Now, I'm kind of in a funny position because, um, let's see, he's got the Zeta on Kanan, which gives him a lot of um, protection and things. I need to go for the cane. I think I just put the full Geo Squad in. Because I'm. Yeah, I think I put the full squad in. And then hopefully that's um, going to be enough. I've got one point flex. As it were. Right, we want to go for the cane then, I think. I don't want him to not be able to do his. Um, Bonus thing. Right, he's gone. No counter attacks. I'm not getting any ability locks, but never mind. Ezra's gone. That's what we needed. So we should be a point or two ahead. So 1728, 1726, we are ahead. We've done it. So despite that one loss um, down here, but we're okay. Um, thankfully, Nest managed to pull that out and kill Padme. I think she hadn't killed Padme, we'd be in a lot of trouble. But yeah, we've done it. So yeah, really pleased with that. All right, cheers, guys. See you later.